here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Yes, that's right, we're making ribs. Yum. Who doesn't like ribs? Put your hand up if you don't like ribs. Not one hand. See, I knew it. I knew it. I knew everybody loves ribs. Oh, sure, there's a vegan or two out there hiding. But you know, when they smell ribs cooking and then see them all gorgeous and ready to be consumed, you know there's a little twang of super jealousy in them. Am I right, Max? They are humans after all. They are humans after all. They have ribs in them. You'd think they'd appreciate that. We're not here to talk about them. We're here to talk about simple ribs. I'm going to give you my, 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 my best hack for getting them going sooner than you would if you just did them on a grill. But we're going to finish them on our Santa Maria style slash Argentinian style grill behind us that the boys at Weld.com made for us. Remember that? Oh, yeah. It was a fun day. Should we get the fire going? Do you want to you see how that all goes down? Or? Let's do it. Let's go. We're starting by using a chimney. You fill this up with briquettes or charcoal. You light it with paper underneath. And then in about 20 to 25 minutes, you've got charcoals that are pretty much ready to go. It's a great way to do it. A great way. You don't need lighter fluid, which by the way, you should never use. You don't need those little starter things. I just put a few pieces of cardboard underneath. So now we're going to take this, we're going to dump it right here. Look how beautiful that is. <laughs> Lovely. Take a couple pieces of wood, spread it out a bit, throw these guys on top. They'll help give a little more flavor. And if I have one more, we could drop our surface down a bit. That'll start to help clean up what's on there. Now we can get to our ribs. And the ribs we're using are these guys. Uh, St. Louis style. They're a little fatter, but they're definitely meatier and they lay flat. Not that that's a huge thing, but that definitely makes uh, cooking them a little bit simpler. And let me just show you how we prep these. It's, it's, uh, it's a snap. So we're gonna begin by getting rid of this excess fat here because it's just, pointless. Take this off. Look, you want to be eating that? There's times when I like a bite of fat. You know, the edge of a ribeye, that kind of thing. That makes me very happy, but here, not really going to help me at all. If you're not taking too much off, just get rid of it. And then this guy, it's tough because it's slippery. Don't cut yourself. Nope. Okay, so you get these guys all cleaned up, and then we're gonna flip them over and deal with this membrane. This is essentially a slippery piece that is on the back of almost all ribs that you don't need. So here's what we do. We take a pointy knife underneath the membrane right here. You cut out, you expose that, and then, then you take a paper towel and you try and grab it, because it is slippery, and you want to pull. And I think we've done this before. If you're a good boy or a good girl, you can get a nice wide piece of it, and it will just pull off like that. Obviously, I didn't get the whole thing. So you've only been partially good. I've only been partially good. Thank you for pointing that out, Max. If there's excess fat here, you want to take it off, feel free. But you know, fat means flavor, so I'm okay. Let's uh, get the other one, and then we can get them in the oven. Fat off. This is just a big fat piece here. That. That meant I was a very good boy at some point, so. Look, I'm not setting these up for competition ribs. There'd be a whole nother level of work going on here. And I'm not up for that. I'm not competing. I am only eating. Let's get them going. Okay, so get rid of the fat, the unnecessary bits. We lay them out on a baking sheet, nice and neat. 
We're going to add white vinegar to this. I mean, look, if you had champagne vinegar, uh, that would be okay. If you had rice vinegar, that would be okay. What I'm saying is you don't need balsamic vinegar. That would be a waste. And we don't want that taste in here, at least not right now. We take some foil over the top, seal it well, and away to a 350 oven for an hour and a quarter. When they come out, before they go on the grill, we give them a little rub. They're gonna be cooked, but that's when we start to color and flavor them really well. So here's our quick little uh, seasoning rub. We go like this. We go salt, black pepper, chili powder, cayenne, paprika. Come on, come on, come on. And some brown sugar. Now you know what we do, Max? We mix. We mix. Perfect. Now our glazing sauce. And that consists of apricot jam, because this is gonna help give it really beautiful glossiness. Come on. Apricot or apricot? What did I say? I think you said apricot. So we've got apric, apricot, whatever. And now for a little umami and thinning, some soy sauce for some spice, some heat, some sriracha, and for a little tang, some apple cider vinegar. And we'll mix this. You gotta do a good job because you wanna break up that apricot. It's simple and it's gonna do amazing things. Think of what we've got here. We've hit all the high notes. Salt from the soy, sweet from the apricot or apricot jam, spice from the Cholula and, and sour from the, 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 the apple cider vinegar. Went out of my head. So this, oh damn. The heat right at the end, oh damn. This could be it. This could be the world's best rib glaze ever. Should we get our ribs and see how they look after they've Do been it. in the oven? Let's go. And here we are. I'm being very careful. You'll see why in a second. <sighs> because when you lift up a corner, what you're gonna see is steam first out. But also how much liquid got in here. Look down here, Maxie. Look at that. It's like a half an inch deep. But you see the ribs? Smell crazy. They're tender as, right? Problem is, they're ugly AF. Who wants to eat that? It's fully cooked, but they're ugly as f So let's do this. Start by getting rid of the liquid because it's not helping anything. We'll take it over here. Just watch how much pours out. Gah! Uh, easily a pint. Easily. Ow. But they don't look good. They're gonna taste like boring ribs. This is now why we season them. So are you ready? Start with the top. So a nice amount here. We're only gonna do this top side. Smells great, actually. You know, when the heat of the ribs, when the seasoning hits the heat of the ribs, it's great. And you know how you can tell that they're starting to really be done is when they start to, the bone starts to come out. When they pull away, when the meat pulls away from the bone, here and here, your ribs are there. Your oven, 350, these guys covered up with the foil and the vinegar an hour and 15 minutes to get them here. To cook ribs on a smoker or a grill is gonna take you a solid four-ish, I say five hours, uh, maybe more, to get them to the point where they're tender and, and delicious. Yes, you get the benefit of other things doing it that way, but sometimes when you wanna eat, you don't want it to take forever. And if you don't have a smoker, this is a perfect way to do it. 
You're going to see how great these things are going to be when we're done. There's not a whole lot left to do, Max, but and you know what that means. Shall we? Can we shall. Can do that a couple more times, please? Wait, I didn't get it. One more. One more? And here we are. Are we ready? Ready. These guys are going to go face down first. Ow, sh Ah, it's hot. Damn it. Wow. So let's do this. Let's put a little bit of the seasoning on the back side now that they're on here. And because the fire is pretty hot and I don't want to burn anything yet, let's just raise this. Sorry, Max. That's the beauty of one of these. You want heat, you drop it. You don't want heat, you raise it. Spread out your charcoal and your wood a little bit. I threw a couple extra pieces of charcoal on. Maintain the fire. Look at all these bones. All coming out. You want to see something pretty? Yes. Really pretty? Look at it. Wow. Oh, this guy. Mamma mia. So what you want, you want these, actually let's bring them down a bit. You want some of this charring because that's flavor. That's the magic. That's why you cook on a live fire. And make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is called live fire cooking as opposed to a gas grill. All right, let's give them a flip. Go, how, geez Louise. I don't know that there's anything prettier on the planet right now than that. I really don't. No, but just you wait. Because you know what we get to do now? Now we get to use this amazing basting sauce. And by the way, young Chance already had a little taste of this sauce. He said, it makes me want to dance. Look at, remember what I said about the apricot jam? Adding the glaze factor. Holy Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> it's gonna be insane. But it's gonna get really good once we flip them back and now all the sweet of the apricot jam starts to burn in a little bit. That's where the magic flavors come from. This is gonna be the best ribs ever. Look at this. Look at this. What was that movie with those idiots that end up in like the dome? Biodome. Bio That's what we need, Max. An air-conditioned biodome. All right, so now we're gonna flip them over. Oh, oh baby. We'll give the back a little love with the glaze. Not as important as the front or the top, whatever you wanna call it but let's go for it. Look at this guy. He goes, I'm out of here. I'm out. Look at the bones. They're all starting to separate from the meat. This guy in the end. I'm out of here. Oh, look at that. Amazing. And we can turn him back. That is magic. Magic. He gets one more glazing. Give him another minute or two, and then... Off they come. Let's give a little shout out to our boys at Weld.com for building this amazing piece of equipment for us. Thank you, fellas. Talk to me about Gorgeous. Go on, talk to me about Gorgeous. There we are, Maxie. A little turn. All dressed up and nowhere to go except my stomach. Should I take one off and have at it? Let's take this kid. Come on, buddy. There you go. Okay, fun thing to do. Remember our seasoning rub. Let's just give it a little bit more. It's just like a little extra little pop of flavor. And a little mess for my cutting board. And now we look at them, how gorgeous they are. The bones on this side. The bones protruding giving themselves up. They're saying, we're done, we're done. We'd like to leave now if that's possible. And I say, oh, that's fine. 
possible, all right. In fact, it's about to happen. Should I pull this guy out? Let's see if that happens nicely. Oh, it's about to happen. Like this guy. Oh, well. That's pretty easy. <laughs> So, in the world of ribs, ouch, in the world of hot ribs, in the world of, ow, hot ribs, this is what you want. Look, this little chunk of meat right here, beautifully cooked, tender, juicy. Here's what you want to do. You want to pick them up and you want to just cut down. And look at, oh my God, look at the meatiness here. Fourth of July is coming up. You got to make these. Oh my God. The glaze. That little bit of rub at the end gives that little pop of Flavor and salt, I love ribs. There's a recipe for sweet sticky ribs on my website. We've done them here and they're magnificent. I'm gonna tell you these are magnificent to her. They really are. There's so many levels of flavor in this. Look, you live in an apartment, you have no grill, you have no smoker, you have no well.com Argentinian style slash Santa Maria style grill behind you. What do you do? You cook them exactly like I showed you in the beginning in the oven, hour and 15 minutes ish in the oven until they're super tender, but ugly. Then you take them out. Then you put the little bit of rub on, then throw them under the broiler for a minute or two. Then the glaze under the broiler. I'm telling you, they're going to be fantastic. They won't be as smoky, but they'll be fantastic. I want to open a barbecue restaurant for these. I don't know what to call them. I'm telling you, baby back ribs are delicious. St. Louis style, meatier, juicier, fattier. I think these are the ones to go with. So I've got nothing else. I've got nothing else. I'll say goodbye. Just let me remind you, if you haven't entered the nominated father, sorry, if you haven't entered the no, nominate... You, no, if you haven't nominated a father oh. yet. If you haven't nominated a father yet for our exclusive Sam the Cooking Guy Evo 30-inch professional wheeled cart giveaway. It's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, you should do that. You have till June 20th of midnight. Is this, is this, this one? This one? This one? This one? This one? This one? This one. one of them is I you and one is peace. I don't know how that could be so close, but...